What is the worst thing that you've seen a cow or do and still avoid being fired? A guy at the plant I work at scrap $360. 000 in airplane parts because he didn't even bother to look at the work instructions. He just drives a forklift now. Still a bunch of mark tools. They were painted white. Showed everyone in the shop pictures of his deal with set tools in the background. Gets reported. Boss calls him on it. He said you got me. I stole a gallon of white paint never heard the boss laughing so hard year later or so he gets promoted lol. He tried to run over a security officer with his car when the security officer told him he couldn't park where he wanted to park. Almost succeeded. 2. Worked with a guy who punctured the main gas line to our shop three separate times. It was a construction company and he somehow was still my superintendent, although he could have blown up the shop. Accidentally send the last three years of account details slash back statements from one company to their direct competitor. Had a co-worker as a standard business practice falsely condemn furnaces in winter to pressure home ER winners into buying new systems and pad his commission check. I couldn't do anything as I had no direct proof. But he would joke about it all the time. It did finally catch up with him when one customer smelled BS and called other companies with advanced testing machines. Took those results and sued the poop out of him. I ended up working for that second company and haven't looked back. This dude walks a server out of the server room every 6 months or so to sell on eBay. We have literally no security except the front door. But the owner is so ancient and out of touch I doubt she even remembers things are being stolen. Got caught with CP on his work computer. Had access to the backquote net taken away, but wasn't fired as backquote it's possible he didn't know it was real CP. Edit. Just to clarify a few things. 1. This was about 15 years ago at a public institution in Canada too. CP is child PRN3. Upper management was terrible in so many ways for. I talked to a friend who was in the RCMP. She said to me reporting him would lead to the institution lawyering up and an internal investigation would happen. That's all because likely upper management erased the HD and left no paper trail. See hash 35. He used Kaza. An ancient P2P. Guy at my wife's old job was brought in because he was really good at selling the services they provided. Proceeded to send stick pics to the women at work and solicit nudes from them. Women said to stop or they'd take it up with management and it subsided some. Solicited nudes from a new chick who asked my wife about it and my wife went to management with everything and said this guy's out or I'm quitting. Well. She quit. Guy's still there, but most the original female staff has quit. I know someone who managed to close an entire supermarket early for the first time in its history. Costing the company several thousands of pounds. Because they tried to set a clock on a computer back an hour, to avoid missing some deadline for a daily routine. He said it seemed such a good idea at the time. Nothing. Documenting work as completed, when no actual work had been done. Management knew or was suspicious of it. But not so much as a write-up our reprimand. Eventually. Management changed. Figured out no work was being done. Called it fraud. And canned them. The job was easy too. And good money. I don't get why they didn't just do the work on sexual harassment. Little backstory. I work in a private country club style dining slash banquet event space. A drunk on the job manager pinned an hourly server against the wall during a nighttime wedding reception. She punched him in the ribs and tried pushing him off of her. We all saw it. We all reported to ours. Another manager physically removed him off of her. This was about 4 months ago, and he's still in his position. She quit due to him telling everyone she'd lied about the entire situation. 
Bowers rep found out about a person's elective surgery and made fun of her with a former employee. Let me recap. This person knew about an employee's private medical information because she worked with our health care plan in her role as ours and shared that private information with another person for the sole purpose of mocking the employee. She was not fired. One of my former coworkers. She's since been fired for stealing customers' lottery winnings. Told an elderly woman that she was stupid for not knowing how to pump gas. This woman's husband had recently passed, and he had always pumped the gas for her. So she never learned. I had horrible second-hand embarrassment when the woman came in and told us. We relayed it to the manager. Drill a hole clean through a condensate line and have the ceiling of a three-car garage collapse when the drywall gave. Me I'm that guy. Amma. He was caught selling cocaine on work premises. Everyone was talking about how he's going to get fired. For a week. Then everybody seemed to have forgotten. Helps if the owner is your kid's godmother. Eat weed. Urinate outdoors on garbage cans in public. Masturbate and drink on the job. Not giving patients their medication at the right time, and generally not giving a duck about them. I work in a medical marriage and estate. One guy neglected to check a dry room for a few days assuming all was well. All was not well. At all. The dehumidifier crapped out, while the plants were being hung to dry, and sat in a warm. Dark room for three days, before it was someone else's responsibility to check it. By that point every single plant was coated in mold, and we had to throw out a little over a million dollars worth of product. Side note. I had never done the math to see what he cost us until now, and am mad all over again. His only punishment was to be denied moving today shift, but other than, that it was forgotten about. Obligatory not me, but my wife. She had a co-worker, that literally punched a customer. Wasn't fired. He later got into a physical altercation with another co-worker. Wasn't fired. Then he wrapped my wife's hair around her throat, and play choked her. Still was not fired. Finally. He got into, yet another altercation with a co-worker, and pulled a gun on him. All while on the clock. Then he was fired. I worked at a convenience store in a mall. We had Lotto. And I had this worker who people called Crazy Joe. Sometimes. When people are doing Lotto. They take a long time picking out tickets. So Joe was waiting on a guy. And he was taking a while. And a line was forming. Pretty long. Joe looked at the line, and yelled out does anyone have a gun, so I can kill myself. He then stormed off. Same place. Gene. A guy in his 50s. Touched two of my co-workers asses. One was 17 at the time. The other 19. Both girls. Neither one was fired. I have a cow walker, that has terrible work ethic. He doesn't know how to separate his personal life from his work life so, if he's in a bad mood. Which happens often. Everyone will know including customers. He's had at least three disciplinary meetings. Once he was caught just ducking around for an hour. Not exactly sure what happened, but our boss wasn't happy. Another time he just didn't show up, to work without calling in. And it was a day that everyone knew, would be busy. I don't know, why he hasn't been fired yet. Everywhere else I've worked he would have been gone by now. A cowwalker jumped out from behind the door at my husband. Who is a disabled combat veteran with PTSD. Dressed as if he was from the Middle East. He was literally trying to trigger a flashback. No repercussions. As he was a boss friend. Two weeks later. He fell down some icy steps, and broke both legs. Karma took care of that one. Former job. He would show up to shifts late like 3 or 4 days a week. He would also call in on a somewhat regular basis. 
anyone else would have been fired for this. I have no idea what this manager saw in this guy. He still works there a fake. I had a knife pulled on me in the workplace in addition to multiple threats uttered against me. All for being honest and competent. All those people still work there. Carpentry Department. North Van Calver School District. Bowers dragged them all in, after I resigned. And laid down the law. But all those psychopaths still work there around children. I have documentation to prove this. They offered me my job back. I said. Hell. No.